What's going on, y'all? The Fender PSVR here in this video. I'll be doing a quick video, and I am letting you all know that Alvo now has crossplay between PSVR and Quest, and it is now live. Cut on my PlayStation, noticed that there was an update, checked my Discord of Alvo to see what was new because everything is going to be posted there whenever they have an update. And Steve CLT has posted today at 12.26 that crossway between PSVR and Quest is now live. I have another announcement to make that uh, I'm actually a dad. Uh, my son was born today. So today I've just been dead tired. I'm dead tired right now. I just got home after a long day. I uh, had to come back and check my pets to make sure my pets is good with my girlfriend's in the hospital. Uh, and I'm going to be home for the rest of the night until tomorrow morning. There's some stuff I still got to take care of. On top of letting y'all know the latest PSVR news. And I'm going to let y'all know in this video and my next video that I'm going to do. Which is the uh, PSVR Live from Tokyo game show um, reveal that they actually had hands on. But anyway, that's in the next video. But I'm going to get on with this one. PSVR and MetaQuest 2 players can now squad up in all modes and maps. This is a big step forward for the future of the game. I believe it's also a big step in the future for VR itself because you have PSVR players playing on one, Quest players playing on one, and then PlayStation VR 2 is going to be a uh, is going to come up with a patch for all of itself, and then hopefully everybody can just play all together, whether you're on PSVR 1, PSVR 2, and slash or Quest 2. But continue with the article. Um, continue with the note says, thank you all for your support from the entire Alvo team. Be sure to update the game and then jump in to make some new enemies. I mean friends. Full patch notes below. But first, an update on work in progress. So, launch on Pico standalone 8 head mount displays in China and globally. I don't know what that means. All the work is done for this. It's awaiting game now global pico players will be included in crossplay with psvr and quest 2 subject to sony approval new maps high rise pit hangar veranada oh man there's some new maps new maps high rise pit hangar veranada we have private matches available now hard point game mode is available what an update on work in progress wow hopefully this is all available after this video, be sure to, you know, check my Alvo stream that I'm going to be doing because I'm going to be covering all this to see if all this is true. But say so new maps, high rise, pit, hangar, and veranada. Private matches, hard point game mode, manual reload upgrade from current hybrid systems, new guns, PSVR 2. So it's trying to come to PSVR or it will be on PSVR 2 when PSVR 2 comes out. So I guess that's what the full... Uh, patch notes is with an update on work in progress so maybe this is probably not something that's out right now but they're currently working on steam vr launch and modding support yeah so an update on work in progress all that stuff is coming so they have hard point mode problem matches coming out merry reload but the full patch notes for this latest patch that you'll be able to jump into when you play the game it features clap uh, cross-platform support it features network bullet impact sounds played if close to it another feature they put into the game you can now hear bullet flyby sounds as a general fix of missing duck on town map added back if you don't know just a quick hint it's by the uh, cop cars in the map town it's to the left of the cop cars and it's somewhere in that area if I believe my uh, memory is correct, that I've actually found that one as well. But, missing duck on town map, add it back. A general patch is that they fixed the vigilant not being enabled again after downstate and zombies. They fixed empty buttons right in one of the messages when loading the game. They fixed an error that sometimes calls to not display your avatar on party menu. Fix an issue that was breaking loadouts when joining an ongoing game directly. Fixed wrong button mapping on dual wheel left hand with PlayStation Move motion controller. 
fix the reload animation issue with Choco when using PlayStation Move motion controller. A fixed grenade arc persisting when game ends while holding a grenade. A new retreat and dojo music has been added. A new patch for the zombies. A fix an ability to bleed out or revive yourself if a player dies while reviving you in zombies. Another zombie fix is fix an issue preventing barricades to be unlocked on zombie sanatorium. A fixed on vigilance. I don't know how to pronounce that word. On zombies at the reviving. And zombies fix an ability to crouch past a blockade and sanatorium. And map fixed orange through his background on town. A fixed tilted view on dojo. Fix some light artifacts on dojo. A fixed search and destroy to cycle through spectator cameras on search and destroy if settings are open disabled. Fix the kill streak. Fix dogs. Kill streak not bleeding when shot sometimes. And that is all. Um, I'm about to jump into this game. Make sure y'all check out my stream. If y'all are checking this out later, I should be live. And if I'm not live and you check out my stream and are already dang on finished, that means that you missed it. But make sure you drop in there, leave a like, and a comment. And make sure you share it to all your friends, all your PSVR friends. It's a PSVR community. We're one family. Now we're a family with Quest 2 players, and it should be a good time. I can't wait to jump into it. I'm about to jump into it now. So I will see y'all on the live stream. And if not... Y'all will see me in the video when it's not live. And if not, y'all will see me in the next video. This is the Finner PSVR signing off. And your boy is out. Peace.